In 2016, the city of Chicago launched OpenGrid, its biggest, highest-profile technology release on AWS's infrastructure, and it went off without a hitch. It scaled to meet the demands from users coming from press releases, from different articles written about it, and it was a wonderful success of how AWS's infrastructure worked for the city of Chicago. My name is Tom Shank. I'm the chief data officer for the city of Chicago. My role is to oversee the strategic use of data in the city of Chicago. So how can we use data to improve the quality of life for citizens and improve the efficiency of city operations? OpenGrid is a real-time situational awareness program. It allows you to see what's happening around you. Literally, if you take out your phone, you can see events such as 311 calls, new business licenses, what the weather is in your immediate vicinity. Or you can take a look at neighborhoods that you're thinking about moving to, or take a look at the entire city of Chicago. OpenGrid bore out of an internal project called WindyGrid, which we use for situational awareness in our emergency operations center. And so we took that program, we said, th this is also useful to the broader public. So we partnered with a nonprofit called Smart Chicago Collaborative, who then in turn worked with U-Turn Data Solutions, who took OpenGrid and the open source code that we've developed and put it into the AWS cloud so we could have the public reach out and, and interact with the program and not have to be concerned about scaling issues, about performance, or making an unpleasant situation for somebody who just wants to see data in their neighborhood. So OpenGrid is uh, a cloud formation on AWS where we have the application sitting there uh, behind a load balancer. So the, the key thing for us was making sure that the application was available and we didn't experience any scaling issues or any performance issues. So that flexibility of AWS allows us to put it in there confidently on launch day, knowing that there would be press around it, knowing that it would be talked about in the media and that there would be a number of visitors to it and not have the first interaction with OpenGrid being something that was slow or laggy or just unusable. By packaging up OpenGrid in a CloudFormation template, we're taking infrastructure as code, where we're packaging all the code together so it's a singular object that can just simply be ran on a server. And what that allows others to do is adopt OpenGrid in their own infrastructure, to be able to simply go to the AWS Marketplace, uh, click to deploy, and have OpenGrid running for their locality. The database that is driving this is sitting on uh, Amazon's relational data store, so it allows us to scale that out if we need that performance. We also have high availability on the application as well, so if we experience any problems, we know that AWS can spin up other servers and take some of that load, again, so the, the user can have a pleasant experience using OpenGrid. Citizens benefit from OpenGrid because it allows them to see what's happening around them. There's a natural curiosity of, uh, of, a, of a building that looks like it's under construction. What's going to go in there? Uh, what potholes are in my area? Where streetlights are out? What crime is happening in an area. The AWS infrastructure allowed that to expand and scale out to take it without impacting end users.